Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly. You'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey, hear updates from me, and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook, where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below, as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course, which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation, which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading for October 3rd to the 9th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you, Aquarius. I've got the nine card block. I have three for your recent past, three focused energy, three future outcome. Oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. So some interesting energies here, Aquarius. Um, quite a lot of swords energy coming through, okay? There might be a lot of thoughts going on, a lot of mental activity right now about your situation, trying to figure it out, trying to navigate your way through. At the very end of your reading, I have a beautiful Ace of Cups. It feels like there is some kind of powerful and emotional new beginning that is calling you, okay? But first, let's start with the oracles. The first one out is Divine Consciousness, and I just see in this card how it's almost like there is a calling, like a, a summoning or a beckoning that you feel is coming from a place beyond you towards some kind of new situation, whatever this Ace of Cups stands for you. There's a feeling of it being almost like out of your you know, control and that you are being moved by a divine hand or a divine force that is beyond you. Okay, so I'm really feeling that. I also have um, like a spiritual awakening energy here as well. Some of you might be getting powerful insights or feeling very connected at, at this time with, you know, the creator, the universe. It's important to balance the spirituality with practicality, okay? Full moon and Pisces here, because without action, you know, we can, um, you know, lose the, the potential to really, you know, move with this energy. So that's going to be important. Okay, so Seven of Swords, interestingly, is your lead tarot energy. I have the Hanged Man at the bottom of the deck. Okay, um, quite a few things coming through here. So there could be a situation where there, there might be a deception that could be created here, okay? I mean, you have the Ace of Cups at the end of your reading. It's some kind of new beginning. And, of course, we need to ensure that we... Um, you know, we were able to move towards it and we've communicated, you know, with honesty and truth as well to those around us. I also feel with divine consciousness and the balanced spirituality and practicality card, if we don't sort of stay grounded and take appropriate action, then we can sabotage opportunities. Seven of Swords can be there, okay? Or where it's all mental energy and no action can really, um, you know, it can, it can alleviate I mean, sorry, it can distract us from really, you know, moving on to the path here is what I'm feeling. So I do have that energy here. 
sometimes you know we we really need to apply some patience with the hanged man energy here it does feel like there is an element of not being able to move forward just now because the eight of swords is also your first one out here Aquarius so you might be waiting on something you might be trying to figure this out um, you know it, it feels like there are undercurrents here moving through Oftentimes with the Hanged Man being the card that comes before the death card in the sequence of the Major Arcana, there is some kind of ending that is being resisted here and that is the true gateway to the freedom, to the liberation, to the Ace of Cups. So sometimes we have to come to a place of acceptance that you know, there are endings are a part of new beginnings and we need to go through the, the proper process or channel so that we don't create Seven of Swords situations which can be when you know, they're sneaking around or, you know, there are people moving around in ways that hasn't been communicated. So Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, Queen of Cups here in your recent past, okay, there could be a Queen of Cups involved, which is a Cancer energy for me, could also be a Pisces or a uh, Scorpio. Um, or somebody who's just very big hearted, somebody who is so there for you. Okay, so it could be somebody who's giving you advice or this could be the person that holds the Ace of Cups for you. So it could be someone who's offering you some kind of opportunity that has the ability to really fill your cup. Now this could be in romantic love for some of you. This could be in work career where it really feels like this is going to be what's going to make you happy and fulfill you. I just see like these characters like holding the cup throughout and then it is available to you at the end. So at the moment it's almost like it can't quite be offered you might be already in a job, already in a relationship, and that needs to be figured out first. And in the meantime, it's like, well, I'll keep this cup. I'll keep this cup, but don't be too long or I'm going to offer it to somebody else. So at the moment with the Eight of Swords, there is a bit of a feeling of hands tied. And there is a bit of a feeling of needing to take a different perspective or a different viewpoint here in order to be able to move towards this. Four of Swords says, take a pause, take a moment. It's not a long pause. It's just a, a moment to really figure this out. And that's when that breakthrough, the Ace of Swords will come to you. We see the Three Swords here. It does feel like there's going to be um, some kind of loss or disappointment or ending or heartbreak that is part of the situation here. And I think that you are trying to get prepared, get that strategy. How are you going to communicate this? Okay. And it's almost at the moment you are like suppressing the communication. Like I see this person lying on top, the Ace of Swords, which is the breakthrough, the communication underneath. So I just feel like this is already happening. You haven't communicated it to who you need to. And this, you need to take a pause and get a, a strategy for how you are going to, to go about that. Okay. So the Fool, the Fool is the first card here in your present energy, Ace of Cups, sorry, Page of Cups, Page of Swords. So the Page of Cups at the heart of the reading is often chance meetings, chance encounters, synchronistic connections that kind of come out of the blue. So I actually feel like you weren't expecting this Aquarius, but it showed up and like you you like you feel with this divine consciousness energy like you are being beckoned like called to this it's out of your control it feels like it was me it's meant to be and it's almost like I have no choice but to move towards this but you know I really didn't see this coming and now I'm in a really tricky situation that's what I feel the page of swords for me stands for the communication like taking that those words that sword and, and using them and that is the first domino that falls so that you can move towards this new beginning okay um the fall is that leap of faith you know there is a new path opening here for you but it feels like a lot of strength courage honesty and communication is required to fully take those first steps no, you don't have any guarantees how this is all going to work out, but this is about you taking a rebel-hearted leap of faith towards something that really feels like it was meant for you. Now, I also have Aries energy with the full, and that's pretty much what I've got here. Yeah, I've got strong water sign energy also. So you didn't see this coming, and 
The Page of Cups could be whatever this opportunity stands for for you, whether it is an offer of romantic love or is a new job career that feels like it's going to fill your cup. It feels different from what you have pursued in the past, but now this has showed up, it makes sense. And it's like, okay, this is what I've been missing all along. Like it's either somebody that you or a type that you might not have looked at, or it could be a, a job that's more creative, a little bit more quirky. It's less traditional energy. The person could be younger. They could be, you know, really sort of joyful, quite quirky, quite eccentric. It's that kind of energy. But it just feels like, well, you know, this is the direction I want to go in. So we've got the Six of Pentacles, Magician, Ace of Cups down here in the near future. Now, the Magician says that you will need to take action, Aquarius. You have everything you need to actually do that, but you will need to step up, power up, and be the one to communicate, be the one to set the wheels in motion here. And that is what's going to bring those karmic scales into balance here, Six of Pentacles, and have you receiving the Ace of Cups finally, you know, have it fully arrive and be able to reciprocate it, okay? So the Ace of Cups is a powerful emotional beginning that can expand through to the Ten of Cups. Should you connect with it, accept it, nurture it, it is uh, potentially something that feels like it really fills your soul, your heart, and was seriously meant to be for you. So Aquarius, it's powerful, powerful energy. Let's clarify a little further. There's two here. Yeah, we'll grab those. Oh, guess what? Ace of Cups again and the Two of Swords. Yeah, you are currently at the crossroads trying to decide how to navigate towards the Two of Swords. Um, you know, and with the Two of Swords, I always say use fact and logic, okay, but also heart and intuition because already if you're just using your logic, it just feels like that isn't trapping you. Um, this is about the call of the heart, the call of the soul, but I do feel that, you know, you, you have kind of made your decision. It's more about how do I actually navigate through this? How do I communicate this? Because there is going to be hurt involved, I feel, for another party. I feel like this is your race of cups that you're moving towards Aquarius. And I wish you all the best with it. And that's what I have for you. And do keep in mind, this is a general reading for the collective. It may or may not resonate fully for you. Do drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I love connecting with you over there. And please do hit subscribe um, if you would like to support the channel and keep more of these readings coming. And I'm wishing you so much love and magic, Aquarius. Do take care. Bye for now.